All right, so this is my review of Abe Lincoln, uh, Vampire Killer. And um, it is pretty much a sci-fi version of, of what truly happened. Um, which, you know, but anyways. Um, definitely a sci-fi kind of horror kind of uh, period piece. And then it is definitely a interesting movie. Um, I enjoyed the storyline of it, the premise, and um, it, it it has as as problems. It has its you know a couple problems with it. Um, one happens to be the. Uh, from the people who find it, who didn't know what he was doing, and then all of a sudden I knew it didn't. The cut, the cut scene between that, uh, there was none really to explain um, how they the how they figured that out. Um, there was with the the wife of Abe Lincoln, as she found out it was she as she read his diaries, and. Um, you know, but other than that, his friends just all of a sudden knew it the next cut the next scene. So I'm I'm not really a fan of that, um, but it's not that big of a deal. Um the the other issue though is kind of the main issue I have with this movie is I don't know when this movie came out, but the CGI was pretty bad. Um, I mean, I've seen some homemade movies from, I think they were, like, a from Africa or something, and they were, like, really, really bad. But this is not like that. But it was still pretty bad. Um, uh, an example of this is when, when the whole horse herd scene, uh, where there are him and this other guy forgot the name, the actor's name. But, um, I don't know what else he is in, um, but I recognize him, and he's the main, he's not the main, but he's one of the, uh, main antagonists in the hair of, uh, that killed Abe Lincoln's mother. And so Abe wants, uh, revenge after him, and then he gets up training to be a vampire killer, um, the head bad guy is the, it's been, he's been around for hundreds and thousands of years. Um, as they said in the, uh, towards the end of the movie. Um, I've only seen him in one uh, TV show, uh, and that was, uh, Men in the High Castle. He's the... He's Mr. Smith, I believe his name is, and Colonel Smith, I think. Um, you know, he did, he did a pretty good job. Uh, I'm not really that surprised. Uh, he does he does a pretty good job in uh, Man in the High Castle. Let's see. Um, I think that's about it. I don't, couldn't think of, uh, if I'm missing anything. Um, but, uh, overall the movie was a, story wise was a good movie. And, um, you know, I, I would give this, what would I give this? I I think I'd give this two and a half stars out of five. You know what? No, I I would give this three five uh three out of five stars. Um, I think it's a bit pushing it because of this how bad the CGI and how much it was in there. But um, 
Uh, I, I at, at the end, I enjoyed it. So I'm more rating it on the main reason why I'm rating on movies is and TV shows is I enjoy it at the end, and I did. And um, oh, look, my light went out. Damn it! Oh well. Um, so, anyways, it's towards the. End. Um, so please like and subscribe if you have not. Uh, please do so. Um, and uh, have a good day, everyone.